What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and we're coming at you from my apartment where I've basically been for 24 hours a day for the past three weeks. Uh, but we're gonna open up some Pokemon cards. We got a box of Hidden Fates. We were going, planning on opening the new product that launched today, but uh, actually we'll get into that a little bit. Uh, we got a big box open, 10 packs, Hidden Fates. Maybe we can find one of those Charizards again. The price has gone up back to like $300. Got our hand sanitizer right here. All right, let's begin. We'll start with this opening of this box, which uh, we'll fast forward through because it takes me forever. All right, we got our Zorark promo. This is uh, definitely one of the better promos in my opinion. Shiny Zorark. We have 10 Hidden Fates packs. Notice that we're opening one of the ball collections. And I recommend you do the same if you want to do a Hidden Fates opening. Do not, I repeat, do not purchase an ETB for $100. That is ridiculous. That's twice that you should really spend. If you really want that promo, buy it on the secondary market. I think they go for like $6. But uh, all right, we're getting into our first pack. All right, Hidden Fates. It's been quite a while. And we do want to swap the reverse and the rare. And... Uh, Oh jeez, that has been quite a while. But uh, yeah, we're, so we were definitely hoping to open that new product, which is kind of like some of Tag All-Stars, plus a bunch of packs. You got a couple promos, Jesse and James, and a Blaine's Last Stand. You got the Espeon Deoxys and the Umbreon Darkrai, I believe. But, uh, so, you probably heard this before, we buy all of our products from Game Nerds, and... They, and it's unfortunate because they actually shipped it uh, early enough that it actually arrived today, but it arrived at my office, which I can no longer get into. The building is shut down to all employees, unless it's business critical, which grabbing my Pokemon cards from the office is not. Therefore, um, I did order another thing, so we will op do an opening probably sometime next week. So don't worry about that, we will definitely open that product. It's a little later than I would have hoped. And why is the energy all the way back here? May hope everyone's having a good day. And uh, yeah, during these very unsettling times, hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy, uh, practicing good hygiene, washing your hands frequently, sanitizing, especially if you're out in the public. I feel like things are Pretty accommodating grocery stores either have like things to wipe down the cart or they actually have like sanitizer available. The grocery lines they have like X's for so that everyone is six feet away or whatever. So very strange times. We got Brock's train. Something about this, like the cart is a little warped. Alright, I just totally lost my train of thought because I just had to run to the door to uh, grab the pizza that we ordered. <clears throat> As it is Friday, so girlfriend cannot eat meat. We usually order a pizza. And here we go. So far, this opening has been not too bad. Although I do feel like there's a good amount of nicks on these cards. Uh, we have gotten a shiny bayonet. And why is the energy not up front? What am I doing wrong here? This is not a complicated process. Brock's training. And then another reverse energy. Okay, we'll take that. Oh yeah, if you guys haven't been following the Pokemon videos, one, I recommend you at least check it out if see if you do like them. I'd say it's one of our more popular shows. Uh, and, oh, there we go. Why did that take so long? But yeah, Shiny Charizard is creeping back up and I have no idea why. It's back to, there have been some sold on eBay for $300. Not the Charizard we are looking for, but we will take it. Looks like this guy might be a little off-centered. Then we also have, ooh, a shiny Froakie. Let's see what kind of Froakie we got. This feels like it might be the textured one. And actually someone asked me in a YouTube comment whether do you think that people will kind of like um, care, if, like if for so our secondary market stuff goes, whether it's the textured version, the overly glossy version, or let's just say the regular, for lack of a better word. And unfortunately, I think very much no. I think, especially when it comes to like P 
PSA, if they don't recognize it, I feel like that does have a trickle effect. And when it's in the in the, like the slab, it's very difficult to even tell, I imagine. We have a Zapdos, and then just a Magikarp. But I still, I find that very interesting. I think it would be cool to have like a complete set of just like the textured version. But, you know, if it's just in a binder, you won't be able to tell. Right away, so it is very nice to be opening Hidden Fates again. Definitely was my favorite set to open on this channel for you guys of all time. Sorry for all that background noise. And we also have... Oof, just a Butterfree. And then a Cleave Fable. Alright, we got two packs and I do have one more announcement. Uh, if you don't attend our Twitch streams, but you do play TTCGO. Uh, so, shoutouts to our Twitch mod, Get Wrecked. Uh, basically, we came up with a new idea. So, Monday stream, we stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 8, 7 p.m. EST. Where, uh, on Discord, we're doing a poll where we're going to select, is it three or four different sets? And basically, on Monday, all of our matches will be basically using a limited event where we only use cards from those sets. It should be interesting. I think uh, it'll basically force us to build lots of decks with cards that we haven't used before just because we're very limited. Uh, so obviously it'll, it kind of throws away hopefully most of the meta. And uh, so if that sounds interesting to you, just join the Discord, go to the poll section, figure out what the lists are, and then attend the stream on Monday at 7 p.m. EST. And here we go with our last pack. Uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with this opening. You know, usually we try to hit um, half half number of hits, and we got one shiny. Uh, we have a good amount of hits with the uh, reverse energies. If we get something here, then I'll consider this a very good opening. Didn't get the best shiny, but we'll take it. Ooh, tap! Oh my gosh. Uh, I didn't realize this was the rare. So, uh, if you guys have been paying attention to our Hidden Fates opening, we pull a lot of gold cards, but almost as always Bulu. <laughs> and this is probably our fourth Bulu. We've never pulled a Feeny or Lele. We've maybe pulled one Coco and like four or five Bulus. Uh, so definitely a very good box overall. One shiny, one gold card, a regular, two regular GX, and a shiny non-GX. We will definitely take that. And that's going to be it for us today. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting close to that not our thousand subs, guys. We broke 925 not too long ago. Thank you all for the support. And I uh, hope everyone has a good weekend. Stay safe, stay safe, stay healthy. I'm Wana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.